my March favorites video. Um, I hope you guys like everything that I have to show you. Um, I really didn't feel like I had a whole lot of favorites this month. I have quite a few, but normally I feel like I have more. Um, I didn't really get to try a whole lot of new products this month. Um, with the last couple months were Christmas and birthdays, I've kind of been trying to cut back a little bit within the last month of buying makeup because it seems like I got so much at that one time. Um, but I do have some favorites for you guys today. So first we're going to start off with lashes. Um, my new favorite lashes are by Coco. And I don't have them in the box because they are on my lids. Um, but they are just the Coco lashes. Coco by Coco lashes. Um, the lash band on these are a little thicker so if you're not used to wearing lashes especially these are a lot more dramatic um, you might want to try something a little bit um, thinner to begin with but I really like these lashes um, they did not break on me whenever I take them off I think this is my third time wearing them um, I'll zoom in here so you can see them a little better but this is what they look like they're very wispy um, I did have to trim them quite a bit to get them to fit the way I wanted on my eye just because they are so long um, but yeah I really like these but yeah they're just really easy to apply they don't bother me in any way and they last a really long time so so far I'm really impressed with those um, my next one of my favorites is I haven't been using this for very long so I kind of hate to have it in my favorites video but I've used it for about a week now and so far I really, really like it. I got this in last month's BoxyCharm. It is the Clark Botanicals Anti Puff Eye Cream. This I love for how creamy and moisturizing it is. So far I've only been using it for a week so I can't tell if it's really helped that much with the puffy eyes. It hasn't irritated my eyes and with my allergies that's really great because most eye creams irritate them even more um, but this cream it is expensive I think um, the boxy charm didn't come with a little pamphlet this month so that's why I didn't actually do a video on it because I couldn't tell you how much all the products were worth um, but hopefully they start that up again this next month um, but I believe I was able to look this up online and it's around $80 so it is very expensive um, so I was glad I only paid $21 for the box but it's just an anti-puff eye cream it especially targets Stubborn puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines with concentration of active botanicals and vitamins. The texture of skin will be soft and smooth with vitamins A and E, isoflavin, while vitamins K will brighten the appearance of dark circles. You apply gently under the eye area in the morning and evening following with a smooth marine cream. can also be applied on smile lines and forehead frown lines. So you can use this on other parts of your face, but I think it's basically just for your puffy eye area. Um, but as far as moisturizing my eyes and helping them feel more awake and better in the morning, this product has been great. So it is definitely in my monthly favorites, basically because it doesn't irritate my eyes and it is super, super moisturizing in that area. The next favorite is the Melt Radioactive um, Stack. I love the shades in this. This is a little different than what I normally go for, but they are so pretty and so bright and great for spring. Um, and you can use them too, kind of as just, like if you just lightly apply them, they kind of um, go on almost a little. If you lightly apply the shade, you can use it just kind of as an undertone. Um, but they're so like bright and so pigmented and just beautiful. As you can see here, I have the um, Xenon, the green shade on my lid, and they're just so pigmented and so pretty and just I love them. Especially this hot pink one right here. They're just they're gorgeous and they're so so pigmented. As you can see there in that. This next favorite is a blush and it is by Makeup Geek. It is a Bliss. It is a very light, just like a light little peachy um, shade. I think it's great for spring. Just something to add a little bit of color to your cheeks but not too intense when you want something just a little bit simple. Maybe when you have more a crazy intense eye look like I have today. This light shadow which is, or light blush which is what I'm wearing now will just kind of help give you a little bit of a blush but not make it too intense because the rest of your eyes are already are and I think it's a great color for spring too it's just very peachy and just a really pretty color and again that is bliss by makeup geek then my next favorite is it's 
10. This product, um, I wouldn't normally use a leave-in conditioner just because I feel like my hair can get kind of oily overnight. Um, during the day it's not, but I have to wash my hair in the morning um, if I'm going to leave it down. One, because I have really bad calyx, and two, because my hair gets super, super oily overnight. Um, but it's a 10 product. Um, I love this leave-in. I think I've already talked about this in a favorites video. I think I did. Oh well, I love it that much that it's going to be in two favorites videos. If it is, and I hope I haven't, but I really think I have now that I'm remembering this. Um, but I really like this product. Um, I got it in an Ipsy bag, and I hadn't tried it before just because it's not something I would normally pick up. I don't like leave-in conditioners. They leave my hair too oily. But this one does not. You just spritz it in um, whenever it's damp, and then I let it air dry before I go to bed at night. So I really like this product. Um, I feel like it's really kind of helped give the rest of my hair kind of bring that um natural moisture back to it without making my roots too oily but yeah that is my march favorites um and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see this look up it will be up tuesday or sorry this video is going to be up tuesday this look that i have on in this video if you want to see it, will be up Thursday, so be sure to come back and check that out. Um, I know I haven't been posting the last, uh, I think, three weeks, twice a week. We've been really busy, um, but I'm going to try and stick with the every two videos a week now. Hopefully I can get kind of back into the groove of things and things will start slowing back down. Um, it's either we've had something going on or I've been sick or not feeling well or something, but I hope you guys don't get mad at me and I will hope to post two videos a week from now on again. I will see you guys next week.